Hey guys, Marley here, and I am back with another video. I am super excited today because I am taking my first look at Eco Lifestyle, which is super exciting. Um, I managed to be able to download the pack yesterday so that I could get this video ready for today. I originally wanted to do it real time, but some things happened and I ended up having to turn it into a speed build, but that is okay. Um, and aside from that, please stay tuned till the end of the video because at the end of this video, we are going to be picking a winner for my Eco Lifestyle giveaway. I am going to be sending one person Eco Lifestyle as a gift on Origin. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. Um, thank you if you're new to my channel and you subscribe to that giveaway. I hope I can convince you to stick around with my personality. Um, and if not, that's okay, but thank you for for entering anyway. I am looking forward to sharing the wealth, spreading the love. So like I said, stick around to the end of the video where I will be announcing the winner. Hey guys, I am here with the speed cast and speed build portion of this video. I decided that for these sims, I am going to go with um, Maxis Match hair instead of the usual CC hair I would use just because I really wanted to go through all of the eco lifestyle hairstyle and clothes. And I just have to say, I am so impressed with these hairs. I honestly might go back to matches, ma Max's match hairs full time. Just for the fact of the original meshes on The Sims 4 hairs were awful. Um, and they are just slowly getting better and better to the point where I think that they actually look really good. I'm not offended by them at all. Of course, I will still be using custom skin, eyelashes, and a lot of clothes. But I really do think that the new hairs look really good um and as you can see i'm just putting some new skins on her now i'm also clicking through the new mac makeups and checking them out can we just talk about how awful they are i mean seriously i feel so bad saying this but you would think for a professional makeup brand they would make good makeup collaborations it's almost like they either never saw them on final sims or they saw them and thought they never played the sims game before and so they thought eh that's as good as it can get and just moved on and i guess compared to the default makeup that we have it is better but yeah it's definitely not good um not sure why the video is pausing right here hello are you gonna move okay yeah we're moving i think that at this time like i was working on other things i was basically what happened is i tried to record this video um and then I realized that the new update uninstalled all of my packs. So I had to reinstall all of my packs and start over. Also, I got two of these Sims, this first one and the second one off the gallery, but I left in the clip of me like getting them from their original creators. One of them was from the Norwegian Simmer. I tagged her in my gallery upload, but I also want to say this here, that the guy that I use is from the Norwegian Simmer. And she specifically had in her bio to like put her name if you use it. This one, I did technically use a base from the gallery, but I changed it so much that I don't think that it's the same sim anymore. I would classify it as not being. But if the creator sees this and there's an issue, absolutely, I will give you credit. No problem. I just, I completely changed. I think I changed like the nose, the eyes, and the lips, and also the chin and jaw. So all of the facial features are different. I just needed somewhere good to start. So I wouldn't say that it's the same sim. I also changed all of her traits, her name, all of that. So, um, but if there's a problem, please let me know. You can see here I was using the Claire Siobhan Townies hashtag because that's where I get all of my sims. It's not just for Claire Siobhan people. Everyone gets their sims here because that's where all the good sims are uploaded to. And I actually went through a couple different guys, I think, before I found the right one. I don't think this is the guy we end up sticking with. But I do check out all the eco lifestyle hairs on him. I think that the men's hairs don't look as good. I think that the top one on the top right, like the first one I clicked, kind of looks like, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the Martin Luther movie, where Martin Luther, the guy who broke away from the Catholic Church, decided to start the Reformation and like start Protestantism. Yeah, that top hair looks like hair from the Martin Luther movie. Not a joke. It also looks like, man, what am I thinking of? That guy's face is like right in my head. It might still be the Martin Luther movie. I think it's still the Martin Luther movie. But anyway, the main character, my Sim, with that guy, with that hair that goes straight across in the front, looks exactly like it to the point that it's almost creepy, so didn't use it. Um, and then I did check out the Eco Living Clothes for the men. I ended up using all Eco Living Clothes, but let's be honest, they're not very good. And I am creating right now the mm, one of, out of three, one of the main families that will be used in my Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. So... I'm going to have kind of three different scenarios. One of them is going to be this gaggle of homeless people who live in what is essentially a dump, um, an old shipping container yard that's been converted to a dump. 
They are roughing it out there. And they are going to follow the for-profit route because they realize that they can take the stuff that's getting thrown away in their home every day and make money. And then there is over in the, I forget which town it is, but on the left side of the world where all the houses kind of look the same, I have a very white suburban family um, who has a lot of money. They're doing great. And the daughter wants to be an eco innovator and also finish her last year of college. And then on the far right, I haven't really decided who I'm going to put there yet, but there will be a third family kind of playing in that world. And they'll be going down the third route because there are three routes. One of them is um, the eco footprint route. One of them is the monetary route. And then the other one, I don't really remember... I, it's whatever one goes with the creator space, I think. So whatever goes with the creator space will be over on that third side. I just haven't made a family for it yet. You can see me right now saving them on the gallery if you want to find them. That's how you can find them. They are living in the slums, which is like what I'm calling their situation. And here we are in Build By. So I want to say that I... Oh, turning my graphics down because the game wouldn't load. Yeah, typical. Didn't cut any of this out because the final speed thing was still only 12 minutes long. So I just loved it in. Um, but as you can see, I love, love, love the build buy objects with this pack. I didn't actually get to use a lot of them in this build, but I do use a lot of them in the suburban build that I did for my, um, suburban family, which I will put out at another time that I recorded. Oh, and you can see my computer doing the spin thing. Yes, don't you love recording on a low-end PC? Me too. Um, and so right now I'm doing a shipping container. Yeah, I've never been done before. I know that everyone's doing shipping containers, but these aren't shipping container homes yet. They are just shipping containers and I mean that they are literally shipping containers that these people are sheltering inside of I kind of want to tell like a more difficult story but also fun of like the hardships and what they're going through and then um tie that in I, I kind of have this idea that I think the people that I want to live in the neighborhood on the right are going to be the old family of one of our main girls her name is Jeez, I already forgot her name. Either way, it's um, the Spanish girl who I was doing in my creative sim. I kind of want her original family to live over in that neighborhood on the right in one of the apartments, but I don't know if they will be um, the family we focus on or if they will just be there because I kind of have like a storyline in mind of why she's homeless and why she's gone from her family. Regardless, I'm looking through the build objects. I was looking through, I think... Oh, I was looking for the um, the tiny garbage can that you get with City Living so that I could do it because this is supposed to be like a public lot. No, not the garbage can, the mailbox, the square mailbox that you get with City Living because this is supposed to be like a public lot these people are just living on so they wouldn't have an official mailbox. I feel like it would have one of those government mailboxes, like a tiny square one, but whatever. Um, I'm putting a campfire outside. Yeah, so like I said, I don't use a ton of the eco lifestyle stuff, but I do use a lot of the debug objects from eco lifestyle. So this one really shows off those objects. And I really want these Sims to be like, you know, they're going to like turn this into like the headquarters of like making. So this lot is going to go from being a dump to the headquarters where they are going to be like rags to riches all the way. They're going to end up with a mansion in these uh, shipping container. So very excited. Very, very exciting prospects. I love this idea. Um, I'm putting in cheats right now. Oh yeah, I was trying to get the, for some reason for me, the um, show live edit objects cheat doesn't always work. It doesn't always show all the live edit objects, which is really, really annoying. I don't know how to find them. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think that I'm typing in the cheat correctly, but I could be wrong. Also, sorry if you hear like a little munchy munch in the background. That's my dog. She's playing with the toy and not um, being annoying. So we're giving her a free pass. But yeah, that's my dog. She's always loud when I'm trying to record. She has no respect for me. This lot is off the grid. I'm putting in candles right now. Again, not uh, uh, the candles that come with Eco Lifestyle, though. I didn't want to put in those because I want them to make their own candles eventually. So I didn't want them to like have pre-made candles, but I thought it would be cool if the creating started because they're like, damn, our candles are running low. So we got to make candles to have light. So they pull together their money, they get the candle making table, and that's when they're like, oh, we can sell stuff. Oh, right. And then they start selling stuff, you know? I don't know if this makes any sense, but that's kind of like my idea. So they don't have the Eco Lifestyle candles. I do put in a lot of the Eco Lifestyle trash. I think I end up just searching for trash. She goes to the debug. That's all I have in my debug menu. Someone tell me why. Someone please help me. Um, I'm going through the entire catalog right now. I can't find the live added objects. If you know the answer, please tell me in the comments because I can't figure it out. And it's so freaking annoying. 
I also want to say, uh, you guys have been so interactive on Twitter. Um, at the end of this video, I'm doing the giveaway. But thank you so much for the people who watched in the middle. I really appreciate it. I really want to make good content. And you guys have been so active on Twitter, so helpful and so kind. And it's just such an amazing experience to connect with people who are interested in the same things you are. So thank you so, so very much. Oh, here I am with the trash. Yeah, I love these trash objects. I wish there was more variety because they don't really fill up a lot. And then you you have too many like you don't want to reuse them you know because it doesn't look right and there's not enough of them to really fill up an entire lot being a landfill but I did my best I did some trash and I did some like overgrown plants that have kind of taken over the area a little bit um but the trash objects in this game I love them they're going to be perfect for like making like abandoned houses and like junkyards and like things that I just really love to play in because I feel like when the game's too easy it's boring but when you do stuff like this when you put your sims in a struggle where you don't know if they're going to survive that's that's what I'm into I think I kind of want to make a cult like um like a like a sunny side like we follow all the rules and have like a utopia on the right side I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I just decided that I might turn that neighborhood into a like take one lot and make it into a cult and those people can never leave that lot except to go to the community lot that might be what I do and then they go there as a cult to like do things together and then they all go back at once honestly like I think that's what I'll probably do just set it here so now I am held accountable speaking of being held accountable I just started therapy two weeks ago guys how are how are you guys mentally are you in therapy my therapist said that I need to stop talking for 15 minutes a day but that is a hard prospect I have not managed to do it once yet and I'm seeing her again on Wednesday so I need to figure it out before she asked me if I did it because I can't lie to people um, you can see again trying to go through the debug objects I'm looking for more trash I was looking for that stolen ATM machine because I thought it would be funny, but I don't actually know where it is. Putting in a P woohoo bush. I'm surprised they haven't added a woohoo bush to the base game yet. That's just really shocking to me. Because I feel like I added them. Oh, I'm so sorry for yawning. That was very rude, and I'm so sorry. Uh, ASMR. Okay, I feel like they've added them to a bunch of packs, and so it's weird that people can't really, I don't know, I feel like it should be in the base game for, like, off-the-grid rags, rags to riches situations. Um, right now I'm adding a bubble blower at the top. I didn't know that dining chairs didn't work. I didn't know you had to use comfort chairs. That's super annoying. But I'm adding, like, a bubble blower up there. Like, it's hidden away. Like, I like to imagine, like, in my world, like, that's, like, real drugs, you know? Like, they're, like, doing drugs and stuff. But we are coming to the end of the speedball portion, which means we are at the giveaway! Yay! I hope you guys are excited. We are wrapping this up. Final thoughts. I really like Eagle Lifestyle so far, but the gameplay seems kind of boring. But build, buy, and cast, 10 out of 10. So I'm happy to give it to someone. And this is ending right about now. Again, thank you. And I will be right back. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and now time for the fun part because now we are going to be picking one person to receive Eco Lifestyle for free as a gift for me to spread the love. So I am on my original tweet right now on Twitter. Um, as of the time that I'm recording this and I have officially said that I'm cutting off entries. Two hours later. Okay, as of the time of recording this, I have officially said that I am cutting off entries, so entries are cut off, and it has 93 replies and 108 retweets. So I'm going to go on Google and go to a random, random number, Jesus, number generator, and I'm going to generate a number between 1 and, what was the number again, and 108, 108. And it is 43. So now what I'm going to do is go to the retweets. Hold on, can I actually see who's retweet this? Yes, I can. So I am going to go to the retweets. And when I click on it, it actually says that there are 113. So I just want to random generate again, just in case that I missed everyone, anyone. So 113. 105. Okay, so all of these were posted on June 4th, so yesterday, so they're going to be at the very top. We're going to go to the very bottom, and we're going to count three up from the bottom because it is 105. So one, two, three. And it looks like that the winner is Simming Sarah. Simming Sarah, congratulations. You have won Eco Lifestyle. I'm so happy to be sharing this pack with you. I am going to go to my YouTube channel, verify that you subscribed, and then after that, I will be getting in contact 
to um, give you the origin code. So again, thank you so very much, everyone who entered. I appreciate all of you so much. I really hope you'll stick around. Um, this went super well this time. So I'm thinking about starting a new giveaway and possibly giving a, another pack away sometime next week. If there's another pack you'd want to see or you'd want to see Eco Lifestyle done again, please leave it down below in the comments. If I get enough comments, then I will do another Eco Lifestyle or um, a different pack giveaway next week for you guys. Hopefully keep building the channel, but thank you so much for your support. I hope you guys stick around. I really do enjoy making videos and I'm um, just very excited. Sometimes I should forget what I'm saying. My bad. Okay, anyway, thank you. Congratulations to Simming Sarah on Twitter. Um, I'm going to be checking that you're subscribed and then we will give you the pack. Thank you to everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Look forward to tomorrow. I will be putting out my first Let's Play part for Eagle Lifestyle. I have a really fun story idea planned. And again, just thank you. Okay, bye.